Hey everyone, and welcome. Today we are going to be playing StarCraft uh, 2. We're going to be playing uh, a game against Protoss. This is a simple opener against Protoss to finish the game in 20 minutes. And what this does is it works on a 2-2 timing push. So you're going to go ahead and work on 2-2 upgrades. And after you work on 2-2 upgrades, the 2-2 upgrades will then basically allow you to push out and completely destroy the Protoss army. Uh, storms will be too few at this point, and so it will be a sweeping win, hopefully, for you. So let's go ahead and try and switch to my camera and just see what I'm up to here. Looks like I'm building a supply depot, which is a very important thing to do. Obviously, every... Uh, every Terran player does that. Let's uh let's look at everyone's vision here. Let's go see what our uh, Protoss player here uh, in the top right corner is doing, who also happens to be a bot. Looks like they're just uh, macroing up. Uh, they've built one pylon, and they're chronoing out. I haven't even built a gateway yet. I'm on my first barracks. Uh, let's see what's going on here. What else is? No. All right. Well, this is their view, and this is my view, and then everyone's view. All right. So I'm just learning uh, the hotkeys here, so I can navigate around and uh, narrate. All right. Well, let's go to everyone's vision here. Uh, so if we go to my vision, I haven't even scouted anyone out yet. I haven't scouted the. Uh, the opponent yet but uh i'm building a barracks and a supply depot and looks like he's going for uh i'm not sure uh gateway and cyber so standard protoss opener and at this point i go and scout and i'm sitting on a lot of minerals for my expansion i haven't saturated my gas I will do soon. So his Z-Law is here waiting for my SCV. But I have control of my SCV. If we go to my camera. Let's see. Building a command center. He gets one swipe. And... I move around. I want to go see if he has a gas. So, oh, I see the gas. And I also see the second gas. And so then I leave after I see the second gas. And as you can see, I have my barracks already. And I saw his Z-Lot, so I already start producing a good amount of Marines because I'm sitting on a lot of minerals. I get my second up. I have the Marines ready to come out. Fall down a mule. Uh, so let's see what uh, we're spending. All right, let's uh, let's see what we built. Those units. All right. Well, there are a lot of units being built, as you can see. Just kidding. Uh, no, I have uh, 15 SCVs. Uh, he's got 20 probes. Uh, but as I get my natural, I'll probably have more. Uh, let's see what we're building. We're building orbital. See, he's building just the cyber, the two gateways. That's all he has. Oh, he's building more pylons. So now I put the orbital down. Alright, looks like we had a little encounter here. But yeah. Okay, so uh, this is when I sent out uh, my early set of Marines that were pushing out. I wanted to just not win the game at this point, but I just wanted to go and poke and just see what he had because I didn't want to waste a scan. And I saw that he had too much, so I left, but I'll just show you that.
So I came back home once I realized that at this point I couldn't win with that. And then I think he decided to push out and come and try and attack. And as you can see, if you get attacked, what you're going to want to do is just bring SCVs to repair and attack with Marines. Uh, if The Marines that are not in the bunkers should just be microed very well. You can micro with those and that will help you keep the bunkers alive until you can get SCVs to repair them. So let me just show you how I did that. So I came back, and then he starts moving out, right? So there he is on the main map. Let's speed up until the one he's about to be right here. All right, there he is. So my so the first set of Marines come, go, and attack. And now they move back, and they kite the Zealots. And now I bring SCVs to repair, and we continually fight behind the bunkers. And it's always very, 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 very important to, after you are, uh, after you attack and they have more than you, to start a, a nice defense. Because they usually always attack if they have way more than you, they're going to try and end the game. And you can defend and you can wipe out a good amount of units. As, as you can see, he was uh, very advantaged in units and now he has a lot less. And so it's going to be pretty difficult for him to defend my next attack once I macro up after that. So what I start doing now is working on a good amount of SCVs. As you can see, I'm producing from here, producing from here, uh, and also producing from both of my barracks. And I have two, I have one one on the way. Uh, I have a factory, and I started working on a starport and just getting a bunch of marines and marauders. And a siege tank. So, at this point, I was going to go and fight him, but then I remembered that my 2-2 was on the way, and I was going to wait until my 2-2 timing was complete to attack, and so I totally waited, and I got ready, and as my 2-2 neared completion, I started moving out, and that is when uh, I met him here, and this is my 2-2 two -two timing push, because, oh, also, bind your, bind your medevacs to a different key, so you can kite them better, and what that will do is it will make it so that if you select your whole army, and you fly it in, your, your medevacs don't fly in first and die, that's something that I see a lot of players do, uh, that's something that, that happens, please don't do that, also, uh, before a fight, build everything, don't go into a fight and then expect to have, build supply depots in the middle of that fight, that's annoying to do, you can come back and, and mac up your base, but... Also, get closer. As you can see, I waited all the way until I got up really close to his army before I started attacking. I wanted to get right up on his army. If I have way more troops than him, I can take a little bit of damage from my front troops, and I can get really close and finish this battle extremely quickly. Let me just go ahead and show you what I mean. As you can see, I waited, I came closer. Uh, with 2-2, two -two, I can just stim for the win on the, uh, against his 1-1. One -one, and my tank definitely helps out. Now we can check out the cannon. Take out the cannon, take out his second base. He has nothing in his first. So we can just come in with our 2-2. Two -two. 
and finish the game. So that's it. That's how you uh, play against a Protoss player. You, uh, that's a two uh, two timing push. That is uh, one of the best timing pushes ever because uh, based off that timing push, you can do a lot of things. You could, If you were at that 2-2 two -two zone, let's just say uh, I was in this 2-2 two -two zone. Let me just go ahead and show you uh, what would basically uh, what would result from a 2-2 two -two, uh, timing push. What you could do is if you didn't decide to do that 2-2, two -two, you could go for a 3-3 three -three timing push. And you could get 3-3 three -three at about 23 minutes. And you could push with 3-3, three -three, which was which is deadly. Uh, with 200 troops at 3-3, three -three, you can completely murder a lot of uh, a lot of troops. So, so as you can see, a lot of my spot peoples were built. This is very dangerous, but this is also very productive it makes it really easy to make supply depots and not get supply blocked this is something that i don't recommend doing because it's it's really dangerous it's against a bot but this is what you could do is you could do something like this you could have like one scb just building a bunch of supply depots in a line and then another here and here but you spread it out don't have it all in one because if you were to come and attack this it it'd be really hard if you got a bunch of mutas or something and you came and you attacked this this would be really hard to defend there's only one turret here. I couldn't really build turrets next to it, so don't do that. Uh, spread them out. Uh, always build your armory when these upgrades are your two two are almost done. Get lots of marines and medevac, and you'll win.